All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Tenable Nessus scanner in Azure. So first thing I'm going to do is start off by creating a resource group because everything in Azure needs a resource group. So we'll call this a Tenable Demo and I'm going to put it in Canada Central. There we go. Nice and easy. Already created. Now, next thing I need is a virtual network. So I'm going to create a virtual network. We'll just uh, put it in the Tenable Network or Tenable Demo Group, and I'm going to call this Tenable Demo VNet. And uh, I'm going to keep the defaults for the uh, IPs, and so not a problem there. <clears throat> Let's wait for that to finish up. And that didn't take too long. So now we go to the resource. All right, so that's all good. Next thing we want is to create a virtual machine. And this is going to be for my uh, Nessus scanner. So I'm going to call it Azure Nessus 1. Oh, sorry, that's actually create virtual network. Let me try that again. Virtual machine. There we go. Create virtual machine. So put it in Tenable Demo, Azure Nessus 1. And uh, it has already pre-selected the image. Uh, I went into uh, to to do that, just to show you, um, I went into the marketplace and did a search for Tenable and uh, selected Tenable Nessus. All right. Um, now for password, I'll give it a super secret password here. All righty. And I'm going to keep the spot instance the same. I'm just going to check on networking. Uh, it should put it on the default subnet, and it is. And it's going to give it a public IP address. Okay, so I'm going to click uh, Review and Create. And now I'm just waiting for it to finish the deployment there. All right, and that resource has been created. So now I'm going to go to it, and I can see there's the public IP address. Now. Normally, I wouldn't actually recommend giving it a public IP address. Uh, give it a private IP address instead and uh, do something like connect to it by um, SSH or a Bastion host um, or RDP if you can. But in this case, I'm going to just go to it directly and, and that's on port 8000. So this is a tenable core. So it should be my password that I entered in earlier. And I'm just going to select reuse. Great, and I am logged in. Uh, now I'm simply going to go to Nessus, and I could have gone here directly. I'm just showing you how this would normally work. Um, so I click on that, and that's going to take me to the actual uh, Nessus page where I tell it it's a managed scanner. I'm going to click Continue, and now I need my Tenable I.O. linking key. So I'm logged into Tenable I.O. I go down to Settings, of course, click on Sensors, click on Linked Scanners, Click Add a Scanner, copy the linking key, add that in here, and continue. I'm also going to add in a username and password. And then I wait for the setup to finish. I can now turn off the Azure public uh, IP address. So let me go back to Azure. And under Networking, I'm going to find the public IP address. Click on that. And I'm going to say Disassociate. And now that's, that is disassociated, I can delete it. I always recommend deleting the public IP addresses because Azure will charge you for those. All right, and that is now deleted. So if I go back here and try and refresh this page, um, it's not going to work. So everything's been secured. But if I go into Tenable IO and uh, refresh the linked scanner page, let's see if we've got anything connected yet. And it is connected. Great. So we've now installed a uh, scanner in Azure.